Hello everybody, my name's Lee and I teach at Concordia College in Morehead, Minnesota and also play in the Far Fargo Morehead Symphony and it is so much fun to be here today with you. I'm going to tell you about one of the best friends I have. This is my clarinet. Years ago I used to call it Clarity. So this has been a good friend of mine for many years. It's a, a woodwind family, part of the woodwinds. You'll notice that it has a reed up top and then it has tone holes. And my hands fit over the tone holes and moves these keys. Much like if you've ever played a recorder before, it makes different sounds. But what really produces the sound on the clarinet, as I mentioned just a moment ago, is the reed. The clarinet comes apart in different pieces, and I've just taken the mouthpiece off. And the mouthpiece is kind of fun. The mouthpiece, the mouthpiece is very tiny and small. It's got an opening in the front, and that's the face of the mouthpiece. So can you please say hello, mouthpiece? Very good. Mouthpiece says hello back. I have a very small piece of wood. This is a bamboo cane, and the best type of bamboo cane for clarinet reeds is made, uh, grown off the southern coast of France. Uh, the way this reed works is if any of you have ever, in the summer, plucked a piece of grass, and you put it between your thumbs and you blow into it, you get a real buzzy sound. That's similar to what happens when I put this reed onto my mouthpiece. Again, on the face of the mouthpiece, and the reed fist fits over it like that. And I put it on just so. This is called the ligature. Doesn't that sound fancy? A ligature just holds the reed onto the mouthpiece. And this gets the sound. It's almost like the vocal cords of us when we speak. This makes a buzz, like so. What do you think? I think it's a very silly sound. But when we put this back onto the body of the clarinet, watch carefully as it flies and glows closer, almost like the space ship docking with the space station. I put that back onto my clarinet, and that same type of buzz you heard actually produces a totally different sound. say that the clarinet has four different personalities. Each of our instruments has a different tone quality. And tone quality is like when somebody speaks to you or maybe somebody's painting different colors. So the lowest part of the clarinet is called the shallow mode. Very rich and yummy. Then there's another range, a little bit higher, and that sounds like hello. higher, it even gets more bell-like or more singing. This is in the clarion register. I think that one in particular sounds rather sweet and friendly. And then the highest register of the clarinet is the altissimo. Say hello. So the clarinet has a wide range. I can low, I can play high, all the notes in between, and it has different colors and different sounds that the composer uses to blend with the other instruments in the woodwind quintet. Like Karen showed you on the French horn, I can also sound lyrical. Or I can sound happy and dance-like. Resist. One of my most favorite things to do on the clarinet is to play a note for a very, very long time. In fact, that's one of the best things clarinets can do. The way our horn instrument works is that we can hold up a note for a long time. I haven't done this for a while, so wish me luck. And a 
clarinet can even laugh. That's my friend, the clarinet. Thank you for listening, and I hope you love music like we do. Bye-bye.